Uh, really, that's all, that's always something that you want to get into. You don't want to go to a place where they want you. You want to go to a place where they need you. And I feel like this was a perfect fit. And I just uh, been around the guys, working out with the guys, especially uh, the front uh, with Pascal McCall. And I feel like this is a perfect fit. And I, got, I think we got a chance to be one of the top uh, defense in the nation. Coach White said that, that you very quickly assimilated here and kind of won over your group and everything. Did you worry about that? How, how important was that? Uh, I was about to say, I really didn't worry because I know they uh, seen my mental approach to the game, how I feel physical approach to the game, that they would be like, oh, yeah, this guy ready to work, you know. That's what I told them when I came on my visit. Uh, you know, this ain't really a visit. This is more like a business trip because I'm really, you know, locked in for this year and locked in uh, take this defense to the next level. Last year, Kentucky lagged a little bit getting to the quarterback. What's going to be your role in that process? Uh, for me, uh, I talked to Coach White. He was putting in a call. He was like, make sure you get to the quarterback. And I feel like that that's going to be my job on third down when it's time to get to the quarterback. Coach White don't have to hesitate. He could throw out a blitz and know that we're going to get back there. Coach White talked about how you've been a great fit since coming in. How have you been able to make that transition so quickly and, and kind of acclimate to your new teammates and the system? I uh, really uh, just came in and really locked in. You know, I showed them from day one that uh, this is not, you know, I ain't no freshman. I'm an older guy. I know what to expect. So this is like, it's strictly, you know, business. You know, how can I improve myself, but at the same time, improve the defense? They said you were a great fit for the culture here. When you hear that, what, what does that mean to you? What What is the culture at Kentucky? Really, the culture is hard-nosed football, you know, hit. You got to be able to hit, you know, what they call the blue collar football. Like you, you got to be ready to hit, and I feel like that fits my uh, that fits my game the most. Yeah. Have you and uh, DeAndre been able to bond and get, kind of get on the same page? Like you'll be working closely together. I suppose? oh yes sir, yes sir. Like I told him, I text him uh, when I was going through the process, and I told him we got a chance to be the uh, best duo in the nation. You know, it's gonna take work, it's gonna take a lot, but I feel like. We both, we both got the same mindset, and I feel like we go put it out there that we got the chance to be the best duo in the nation. You guys got, will you be kind of pushing each other to some kind of friendly oh, competition? Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. We got to come up and see who's going to have the most tackle this year and all that. <laughs> who else, uh, you know, would you say that coming into the Kentucky program helped you get used to it when you first got here? Uh, really, I can say brave. Uh, that GA, our linebacker GA, brain helped me out a lot. Um, we was doing Zoom calls. Uh, when I got here, we meet extra just to get uh, get caught up on the playbook. And I say for him, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be where I am today, you know, with Kentucky, you know, uh, just learning the calls, knowing what I'm supposed to do, playing as fast as I play. And I feel like he helped me out a lot. You've kind of, you've got a unique kind of vantage point on the Kentucky program having been you know playing against <laughs> yeah now for what how, how do you view it how is it different looking from the outside as opposed to now where you uh really like I said uh like I told the reporter earlier like I never thought I'd be with Kentucky like you know growing up as a kid you hear Kentucky you would think it would be all uh, it's just Kentucky they're gonna lose but I feel like now Kentucky's on an uprising I feel like this is a special team so being here seeing with the program seeing with the defense is being built I feel like we got a chance to be special kind of been building a reputation for defense right around right. here and now NFL guys is it's, it's kind of word getting out that Oh yeah, that's a, that's a that's a word getting out that you know Kentucky one of the def uh, best defensive schools in the SEC, and I feel like we got a we got the puzzles uh, fixed together that we could be the top one this year. At th this time of year, how exciting is it to like get the pads on and really get down to business and get started again? Uh, it, it's exciting. It's exciting, especially since last year. You know, you couldn't even really have a fall camp. It was so messed up, and I feel like this year. We really have the opportunity to get the pads on, get started, have uh, more numbers so people get more reps, and I feel like it's, it's just exciting. A lot of buzz about this offense you guys will be working against yes, every sir. day. What do you think about those guys? Uh, really, I was watching them. It's just like a professional team. Like I was watching the Pittsburgh and the Cowboys game last night, and I feel like it's the exact same stuff with the motion. So I feel like it's a sub that's going to prepare the defense for the next level.